<laughs> Guys, happy fall, happy October, and welcome to the Bird Brain Podcast, where the goal is to rise above it all, stay elevated, create that infinity, up your you. Last week I had a film debut, uh, published author, four year milestone, and we hit 20K. Well, now we're at 20.6K downloads for the podcast, and that's all thanks to you guys. Man, <laughs> there's been so much going on, so many milestones, so many accomplishments, and I was still feeling like I didn't do enough, or what's next? What is it that I need to do next? And I was talking to a couple of buddies, some very hardworking people in my life who I trust, and, and we always get to talking about what we have to do next. Hit that subscribe button. And if you suffer from imposter syndrome, um, if you're an overachiever, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the thing you need to recognize about an overachiever is that they undervalue themselves. And the reason why is because there's always this mistake of looking through the eyes of people who overlook you. You are more than what you think, but accept you for what you are right now. I finally had a moment where I had to sit still and recognize I've done the work. I've already done the work. And you know, sometimes we're looking for other people to support us and, and give us that congratulations before we even give it to ourselves. That's one thing I've been working on doing and I've stopped doing. I've stopped being upset when certain people don't support me because I'm supporting myself. <laughs> I stopped waiting for other people to tell me that I'm good enough. Why? Because I know what I'm doing is pretty damn awesome. And it's a lot of work that goes into it. Get in the habit of seeing your inner self as a kid that's just looking to be valued. And you have to do that. It's not up to anyone else because we set the tone for everybody else, right? We teach people how to treat us. And if you're doubting yourself every step of the way, someone else is going to feel comfortable doing the same thing. Being in your presence and doubting you. <laughs> it's, it's easy to support somebody once they've already won, right? It's a lot harder to show tenacity, support, genuine effort along someone's journey. Don't be one of those people that only believes in you once you think you've won. You're a winner every day you get up and you challenge yourself to be better. And I know it sounds very like fortune cookie, but the truth of the matter is, is anything you accomplish in life will never amount to much if everything you've done so far feels empty. Think about it, if you had a little kid that walks up to you and they have a picture and they show you this picture, do you say, oh, yeah, you can do better. What do you have next? Or do you value them in that moment and say, this is amazing? Recognition breeds repetition. If you're making the point to recognize yourself along your journey at every step of the way, you'll get in the habit of valuing yourself along your journey every step of the way. And when you actually accomplish something, you can value it properly. You can value yourself properly. Instead of seeking out something else because this wasn't good enough. When it comes down to it, you have to get in the habit of seeing you through your own vision, not borrowing the eyes of somebody that's overlooking you. Just embrace who you are, value that, cherish all of that, embody it. Because it takes a lot for somebody to do what no one else is doing, for somebody to challenge themselves even when it's hard, for somebody to clap for themselves even when it's quiet, all right? Don't be in the stands with everybody who knew you can do it every step of the way, but they weren't there. Be your damn cheerleader on the sideline every step of the way. And I promise you, once you start accepting yourself now in this moment for all the things that you do, then you'll have some appreciation for everything that comes because of it. See you now. And not through the eyes of somebody that's overlooking you. If they're looking the other way, or if they're looking away from you and pretending that they don't see you, let them. You got work to do. Focus on what's in front of you. Focus on the person in the mirror. And focus on the people that have been showing up and they give you their unwavering support. Be one of those people. Don't insult the people that support you by doubting yourself, and that includes you. All right? Hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your family. And remember it for yourself. All right? Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Take flight.